Hello everyone, my name is Daniela Duran Garcia and I'm a lab technician for the Mechanical Engineering Department here at Columbia University. In this video we will be discussing general safety rules just to ensure that your time in our machine shop is both safe and fun. In our machine shop we are equipped with a variety of hand tools and machines such as sanders, grinders, drill presses, band saws, mills and lathes which you will all surely use throughout your time here at Columbia. As Mackey students specifically, you will all take the Intro to Machining course, which will give you a more in-depth training on each of these machines, which will be discussed in more detail in further videos. For now, we just want to discuss general um, safety rules that include proper protective equipment or PPE, clothing that you should avoid, and just general machine safety rules. So for PPE, everyone who enters our shop must wear safety glasses. This is just to protect your eyes from any flying debris, and it doesn't matter if you're just coming in to grab a hand tool from the back of the shop, you must wear safety glasses as soon as you step inside. They are conveniently located by the entrance for you, along with lens wipes for you to sanitize them, and hair ties and hair pins. So that means that anyone with long hair must also put it up into a ponytail or a bun, and this is to ensure that your long hair won't get caught on any moving parts and it won't obstruct your view as you're machining or working on your projects. You must also wear closed-toed shoes and this is to protect your feet from any falling or uh, objects and just to give you a protective layer between anything that might fall in the shop. You also have the option to wear a, safe, a safety like shop coat such as mine or a long sleeve one and this is to protect your clothing from any flying debris or just if you're concerned about staying clean while you're working on the machines, you have the option to wear those. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, we also have latex gloves and these can also be found by the entrance of the machine shop. And latex gloves are the only gloves we allow because they will rip easily if they were to get caught on a machine. Um, other types of gloves have the potential to pull your hands forward towards the machine, which is a big safety concern. So now moving on to clothing items you want to avoid. So a lot of people sometimes wear baseball caps and those can be allowed if you are to wear them backwards. I understand that some people have long hair, but not long enough to be pulled back with a hair tie. So putting your hat on backwards could keep hair out of your face, but we just wanna ensure that the lip of your hat isn't obstructing your view or won't get caught on anything. We also wanna avoid any loose hanging items, such as hoodie strings, long necklaces, loose sleeves, or the loose ends of hijabs or other head coverings. And again, this is just to ensure that it won't get caught on any moving part and it won't pull you towards the moving parts of the machine. Lastly, um, we wanna talk about protecting your fingers. So any rings, any bracelets, watches should be removed because these won't break easily and will pull your hand again forward towards any cutting or moving parts of the machine. So for general machine safety, we want you to recognize that everything in our shop, no matter how small, has the potential of causing physical harm and should be treated responsibly. So when you're working on the machines, just exercise caution, keep your hands as far away as you can from moving parts just to protect your, yourself. Um, we also want to mention that when you're working with tools, specifically metal, any cutting, grinding, sanding will cause friction between your pieces and cause your work piece to be hot. So use coolant, use water to cool down your pieces, um, and just be mindful when you go to touch your finished piece that it might be hot. We also want to emphasize that every machine has an air gun, and these air guns are meant to clean off work areas and your work pieces from debris, but should not be used on yourself. Um, the pressurized air could get into an open cut, which could lead to an embolism by having air go into your bloodstream, which could be potentially very fatal. So please treat these responsibly. They are not toys. Are very effective when it comes to cleaning, but should not be used on your body. Um, the last thing we want to emphasize is that no one should ever be working in our space alone. And that's just to ensure that if an accident were to happen, you would have someone to come to your aid. So if you were to get into a small accident or just a small incident occurs, such as you nick yourself on some sort of cutting tool, please let us know. No matter how small the accident, let the lab staff know so that we can help you provide aid and we keep better track of the kinds of incidents and accidents that occur. We have an overall very safe track record. Nothing major has ever happened in our shop and we wanna keep it that way. 
All of these rules are to ensure your safety as long as the safety of others working around you. And we want to make sure that your time here is both fun and safe. So we look forward to seeing all the cool projects that you'll work on throughout your time here and helping you along your way through your time at the Mekki Department. Thank you.